Yes, yes, that worked. We're back. Okay, so we're here down at the Justice for Trayvon March down at uh, Justice for uh, Terrence Franklin. Uh, we're down at uh, Hennepin and 7th Street. Here is the, the law enforcement, and there they go. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically, uh, a couple hours ago, uh, the Trayvon Martin uh, verdict that's like not guilty for Zimmerman got announced. So this rally was called at the last second. Um, and uh, there's also a rally at uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow at the Hennepin County Government Center. And there was a rally, or, or uh, there was a protest yesterday in Uptown uh, uh, for Terrence Franklin, um, who was uh, a young man killed by Minneapolis Police Department on May 10th with uh, five shots to the head, his family said. So uh, anyway, here's the post. Got mobilized right away. There, w there was a uh, second banner that went down the street, um, and uh, my, my battery is very low. I will try to stream as long as I can. Yeah, this is the last second. Like Trayvon Martin got found not er, Zimmerman got found not guilty, and so people are protesting like all over America. There's also a rally at 6 p.m. tonight about, uh, or, I'm sorry, tomorrow night at the government center about the Trayvon Martin. And it was a protest on Friday as well. So it's been like an ongoing issue, like state violence, you know, all of that. Right on. Was there another banner down there? Did you guys see one? They went down the street, I think. Right on. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Yeah. you guys want to talk on the live stream about the Terrence Franklin case and this case? No. Alright. Okay, cool. Would anybody want to though? Okay. Okay. Alright. Would any of you guys want to talk on the live stream about uh, this case and the Terrence uh, Franklin case on the video? Alright. Yes. Any Anyone? Alright. Did the other banner go down that way? Okay, I didn't see where the hell they went. Alright. Did they go down there? They're not over there, they're not down there. Yeah. Like I said, there, there should be a, a rally at uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow at the Hennepin County Government Center. So uh, this is just sort of, you know, very last second because this is uh, uh, just the news just came out about this a couple hours ago. But uh, given the level of this kind of thing going on in the cities, I do think we'll see, like, you know, more action this weekend as well when there's a little more advance notice. Um, there are, like, at least two police across the street in front of seven. Um, and so that's going on. Uh, I'm hoping I can get somebody that's willing to talk on the live stream about the political situation. And I, there was another group of people, and they went somewhere else with the banner. Thank you. Yeah, let me know if they're down there. Thank you. about the case and the situation. Do you want to talk? Anybody? Yeah. I mean, just as an individual, not as an organization, with any, like, well, you know. I just, I just think it's, it, it's really corrupt that, you know, this is a 17-year-old boy. He was unarmed. The guy shot him. 
Mm -hmm. You know, some, some justice had to, have, had to have been made and it wasn't. Yeah. You know? Um, you know, I'm, I'm from the indigenous group, I don't know more, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Yeah. We've been supporting this the whole way. You know, they, justice should have been done today. Something should have happened today. Yeah. And, and you know what? We'll be out here every week protesting, every every time. Yeah. And there's, and there's been a rally for Terrence, uh, Terrence Franklin, who was yeah. killed by the Minneapolis police. We had a rally yesterday. Brother Ali showed up. Thanks. Show support. Um, we got we got a meeting at Zion Baptist Church on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So and we're gonna start another rally next week. Nice. And we're gonna keep banging this until it gets done. And what what I heard, uh, Joseph Blake came down here and said we'll be a rally tomorrow at six yep. down at the government plaza about this. Yep, yep, there will be. Yeah. Yep, nine I, I believe nine nine PM. Nice. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Very cool. Anything else to add right now or well, you know, we just need more support out of here, you know? Yeah. I mean, this this is kind of, we kind of came out here on a whim, but we're here. Yeah, it's very last Before second. Yep. It's very last second. So, you know, we're going to get more stuff together on Thursday. Where we're at from there, there. Yeah. Cool. Right on. Thank so you. Much. Is there any other things we should know about right now in terms of this? Well, you know, we're just, we're just trying to see the aftermath of what happened here. You know, there's a yeah. lot of upset people. You know, the web's been blowing up like crazy. Uh, a lot of indigenous people know how it's like for police brutality, so we're here supporting him, and it, and it, it deals with our community, so yeah. when it deals with our community, that's our brothers and sisters, too, so yeah. we idle no more for that. Right on. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. This is a, uh, a rally of this is for Trayvon Martin that was called at the last second here tonight. And um, there is uh, also, you know, rallies going on all over the United States tonight um, about this whole thing. And there's three ones tomorrow at 6 o'clock at the Governor Center. So, I know there's another group of people down here that uh, went somewhere else with a banner. So, I don't want to wander off and track them down at the moment. I want to see where they are. Alright, so I think the other banner went down to the right. Uh, I feel like I should go check it out. I don't think they're there. Yeah.
people and we lost track of them. They're somewhere down here. I don't have that much battery power, but I'll stay alive as long as I can. Can I, can I, did you talk on the internet about how you feel about the case? Yeah, on the real, I'm yeah. right now, I'm but, but the, okay, yeah, that's cool. Oh, just the basics, you know, like. Hey, I'm just, going, bro. Yeah, it's live on the internet. I'm trying to be safe, I'm going to have my safe on the road. So you gotta go. It's PC for the road. But let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he got acquitted for every charge, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's some bullshit. Yeah. No! Yeah. Now, that was the wrong. I don't know. One thing for sure. If that was Kermit, if it was vice versa, any other place, guess what? You got locked yeah. up in jail. If that was a white man, I'll fall. If that was a white, no offense to you, man. If that was a white man, and that, I mean, hold on. If that was a black man, and a little white boy, trust me, he'd have been in the jail. Yeah. Yeah. They would have dug deeper for information. He would have never got acquitted for everything. He would have got a charge for something. For something. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's a piece of Trayvon Martin. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't even know him, but I'll You know, I don't know you, know, but that's bullshit. Yeah, I like yeah. what y'all are doing, though, real shit. Yeah. Yeah. I quit it. You gotta quit it for everything. Fuck George Zimmer. Yeah, it's just not fair. There's no justice in America, no right? Justice. America? Land of opportunity? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm mad that I'm from this motherfucker. Yeah. I should be from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> they got free health care. Right. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys. Right, hey. Yeah, it's well, a lie. I'm sending the prisoners in the United States of America black. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact we want to make up 13% of the population. Uh -huh. Here in the state of Minnesota, the black men are 27 times more likely yeah. to get raped than the white man, man, but we don't make up 3% of the population. Yeah. I'm a firm believer in black revolutionaries. A firm believer in the Black Panther Party. A firm believer in Minister Louis Farrakhan. Malcolm X. Geronimo Black. You would be new to Martin Fields, who were the founder of the Black Panther Party in 1966. Zimmerman needs to be shot dead. As well as the people who supported him. This coming out of the mouth of a separate saying Black Panther. My name is Mark Jackson Hammer. Do you, do you think there's any signs that people can work together to make anything better in this country? Like, are there any positive signs out there? Can people work together to make anything better? Yes, but unfortunately, due to the, the doctrine of white supremacy, it's never happened within the United States of America. Keep in mind that this country is founded upon white racism. Mm -hmm. Anything else to add?
Thank you. Black is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. So, we're down here. It's uh, Hennepin and uh, 7th in Minneapolis right now. Um, this is called the last second rally for, uh, you know, against the, the Trayvon Martin uh, verdict, the, the Zimmerman murder trial. Um, also, there's going to be a rally tomorrow at 4 o'clock down on People's Plaza where the Occupy Minneapolis has set up the old uh, Hennepin County Government Center. And, uh, you know, emotions are high over this. Like, this is a pretty fucked up situation for him to get off on no charges. So, people made it down here at the last second tonight. I'm live on the internet, this is live stream right now. Do you want to talk about what's been going on tonight and what's going on tomorrow? Give some context, that'd be really good. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah but Sunday we're yeah, yeah. having a, um, uh, a rally on um, Monday at 6 o'clock. Monday. Monday at 6 o'clock. Okay. We're going to have a rally at the government center at 6 o'clock. All right, not on Sunday, on Monday? Uh, there's a planning meeting on Sunday. Okay. Monday, the rally is at 6 o'clock. We're going to, it's going to be a support rally for Trayvon, okay. and also for our very own Trayvon, which is the Sheriff's Martin fight. We yeah. have four rallies and marches and all that. Yeah. We think we may be able to win that if we can get people to return their anger, return their, their yeah. energy into our local fight. We can try and get people to see it as that. The two fights are tied together. Right. How do you feel like people can uh, fight their crowd crowd? Fight this like frustration in a constructive way. How do you feel people can like channel this into some kind of positive social change out of this tragedy? Well, we just we, I just, we just talked about it. By, yeah. by, by continuing, I know people say, well, protest doesn't work, but truth is, is the only thing that does work. Uh, mm -hmm. By continuing to protest, continue to organize, continue yeah. to find creative ways, creative tactics that put pressure on the system. Clearly, let me tell you something. Clearly. This, this um, verdict proves that the system doesn't work. Oh, yeah. I mean, now we can stop pretending. It's yeah. really obvious, especially when it comes to people of color. We know that the yeah. system doesn't work. If we're not sitting on the jury, you know, uh, if it's not, our, if it's not our system. So clearly people aren't going to be fair. That's why we have to change the system to one that is just, one that's equitable, one that does redistribute it well. So we need a system that, that, you know, let's face it, we need something more. I mean, yeah. that's why the capital the idea of socialism. Yeah. We need something that, that sets it up so that we all can share in the wealth. Uh, sure. uh, uh, a society based on people, the people's yeah. needs rather than profit. Right. Well, and I think this case in particular happened in a gated community in Florida, and that's like a new level of capitalism, these gated communities, and I think that's another dimension to this case. Like private security vigilantes running around, you know what I mean? Like, would you say that that's like another level on all of this? Well, you know, we've always been, uh, the black community has always been victimized by vigilantism. Yeah. And so what the government, and it's the government, see, we don't blame, we don't blame Stanford, Florida, we don't blame, actually, George Zimmerman. We blame the government for allowing this kind of yeah. crime to continue. Mm -hmm. See, if this government would come out and denounce racism, if they would begin to reverse policies that, uh, that are negative to black people and people of color, and they began to do things that, that kind of uh, level the playing field for real, then we wouldn't have this, this idea. Because you really do think it, baby. Yeah. You really think that black people are second class citizens. You are a Zimmerman, I don't care what you would say. Yeah. He clearly sees black people in a different If he yeah. didn't, this never would have happened. Yeah. If, if this kid had done nothing to him, think about it. He had done nothing. He was just walking. So why does Zimmerman assume that this kid, one, didn't have a right to be there? Two, why do you assume that he's going to do something wrong? And, and, and let me say this for the, the apologists who have to be black, who want to beat up on black folks for being criminal. Listen, 
we can we can expect more from the government than we do hoodlums. If a hoodlum jumps on somebody, you figure, okay, we're gonna punish the hoodlum, right? We know actually the law might punish them. So if the government, if, if somebody, if somebody attacks somebody else, we expect the government to intervene and do what's right. They fail. So from far as I'm concerned. It's obvious the system doesn't work. They fail yeah. to protect them. Yeah. So the gentleman did something clearly wrong. And, and, you know, the prosecutor set us up by charging him with second-degree murder. Right. Yeah, second-degree murder. That means you got to go at somebody's head full of sin. You right. have to call somebody and say, hey, I'm going to shoot this guy. So it was a setup to begin with. They should have charged yeah. him with probably third-degree man, second-degree man. Yeah, that's, yeah. Degree of manslaughter. Yeah. And, and given the jury the option of a few options. I think, to be fair to the jury, I think they didn't want to send it to the manslaughter because they didn't like the number, the number of years attached to it. I think it was 10 or 20 years. Yeah. And I think that, that was a deterrent. I, I don't think but they wanted to put him in jail anymore. We also see the stand your ground laws tell people that they shouldn't try to de-escalate violent situations. There's but, no de-escalation. Yeah, That's you know, part of this, too. Yeah, but that didn't have anything to do with it. You okay. Realize they actually played that down. You know, okay. that actually didn't come into play. Okay. Uh, you know, Zimmerman pretty much initiated this whole thing, and so he really couldn't claim the same ground that he initiated. Okay. But there was also a woman who was just sentenced to 20, who was sentenced to 20 years in Florida, uh, I'm sure my sound is going to be blown in it. But a woman was sentenced to 20 years for shooting a gun in the ceiling when she was at an encounter with her abusive husband. There's a double standard that goes on with this, where where vigilantes are encouraged, but people can't use guns to try to de-escalate in other situations. Right, right. Yeah. They're taking two. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to join the protest. Right? Cool, right on. Well, thank you so much. All right, all right. right on. Thanks, Mel. All right, so uh, that was Mel Reeves. Um, we're down, and so, um, okay, so the, 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 the next rally is on Monday, not on Sunday. Uh, we're down here in downtown Minneapolis. We're uh, at Tennyson and 7th. Um, there are some police across the street, but uh, I, don't, I don't think that's anything unusual. I, there's a lot of people down at 7th. It's really busy down here tonight. So I've only got a few more minutes left uh, with my phone to do live stream, but we'll try to stay here as long as we can. Uh, clearly, people feel strongly about this. Uh, it just shows that justice in America is just, you know, not happening.
uh, down in Minneapolis at uh, the corner of uh, 7th, 7th Street and Franklin Avenue. Uh, I've got a few more minutes left on my phone before it runs out of power. Alright. Would you, would you want to talk a little bit about what brings you down here tonight? We're live on the internet right now. Man, I don't have a lot of say, man. Alright, you're kind of mad, go. Right on, thank you. Do you have anything to add? Do you want to talk? I have uh, 20 people watching on the internet right now. Done about it. I don't want to live in this country where nothing's done about Yeah. Where there's no, no justice and people just drop like flies. Exactly. Yeah. So we're out here having a civil um, protest and civil rally. Mm -hmm. It's not a way at all. We're just bringing awareness. Hopefully, yeah. um, justice is served in some other form. Yeah. So. Right on. Thanks. Do you have anything to add? Right on. Yeah. Thank you so much. walking free tonight. Yeah. Convincing evidence to uh, convict a man of manslaughter. Cool. Alright, my phone's just about to run out of power. Do you guys have anything to add? I got like 20 people watching right now on the internet. Um, this is definitely better than justice, so we're not gonna stand for it, and there needs to be a change in the world. Right on. No justice, no peace. Alright, thank you guys so yeah, much. Okay, right on, thank you. Alright. So, uh, I'm just gonna let the, uh, I think I better stop the recording just to, like, let it close off and save before my battery drops. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're just down here, uh, 7th Street and uh, Hennepin Avenue, Minneapolis. Pretty good turnout for about two hours, 90 minutes notice, and uh, a rally again on Monday, and uh, maybe a planning meeting tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, you know, tune in on the Twitters and the interweb. Um, this is not the Trayvon is not the only person that this kind of thing has happened to. All right, thanks. All right.